Knox. Um, I am north of Weems Lake right now. I left at 5 o'clock this morning and stopped and did five horses along the way. So I am planning on making it as far as Vandergoof tonight and then um, I'll go the rest of the way in the morning. Uh, both my nephews, Shale and Quinn, are taking the bronc riding school uh, up at Kispiok. So that starts tomorrow at 10. intentionally matching my hoodie. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyways, a little tired. Thought I might try to do a video. Um, I thought maybe I'd focus on any of you who were wondering why I change my hair color all the time or why my hair is short or why I want to look different. <laughs> so um, as for the hair thing, I've started dyeing my hair probably like when I was about 17 for the first time and I think it's because I like change I like things to be different I get bored easily um, my hair is something that I can change the color as the mood hits um, yeah and I like bright colors obviously I don't like normal What is normal anyway? Um, it's the consensus of like what the masses are, are what the masses are doing, but that's totally different in, within each society. So um, yeah, so that's why I change my hair color, <laughs> um, and color makes me feel good. Like uh, if I even for clothing, like if I'm wearing like gray, I mean, say that today and I'm wearing lots of gray, but <laughs> I typically, my clothes would all be colors or black. Uh, I don't do white or brown, yuck, <laughs> uh, or typically gray, but um, yeah, so, and then why is my hair short? My hair is short because I like my hair short. My temperature, the temperature of my body is really hot and I find too much hair is like really hot, hot on my neck and yeah, I don't know, I just don't like having all that hair. I attempted to grow my hair out a few times um, and I grew it out and I'm like, oh, and then I cut it and it takes forever to grow out, of course, when it's really short. And then I cut it and I was like, why the heck did I even waste all that time growing my hair? So the last time I've had long hair would be, I think 2003, like shortly after that Reba McIntyre music video. I cut it off and since then the extent of my hair, the length it's ever been is probably about this length, kind of like beat up both sides. And then I started shaving the side of my head. Well, it all initially started when I was 16. Uh, I shaved my head mainly because I had every kind of short hairstyle you could possibly have as a kid and I was planning on growing out so I was like well I haven't shaved my head and so I shaved it and it's surprising what people think when you shave your head <laughs> and my mom was not very pleased uh, she was probably the second time because I did it again and she couldn't believe that I would actually do that to her, that I would shave my head again. So notice I say, how could I do that to her? <laughs> but it is something that she said. Um, so then years later, uh, let me think now, it was, I moved back from Texas, so that would have been 2010. And then I think 2010, I ended up shaving the one side of my head. And then I've tried to kind of grow it out. This is actually kind of long for me right now. I just didn't get the, didn't get shaved before I left. Um, but I always like to have part of my head shaved. I have no idea why, but like I go shave it and I'm like, oh, that feels so much better. So I'm kind of growing out this one side. Um, if you're wondering what's going on there. <laughs> we got rid of the mohawk a few years ago. It may come back. I don't know. It's hard to say. It's hard to say what I will do. Or it depends on the mood. What I just What I decide to do is what I do. Um, so that's, yeah, a little bit about the hair. 
Um, will I ever grow my hair again? No. <laughs> so don't even ask. Um, I actually get a little annoyed because um, there's so many people who are like, oh, you, so many people, I mean, most of the guys, that said, you should really grow your hair out. You're really beautiful with long hair. And I'm like, like, what the fuck? Like, seriously, I'm not beautiful now. Like, it's the same person, right? Short hair. Does it, are you only beautiful if you have long hair? Um, anyways, I'm not a big fan of people thinking that. I mean, each to their own if they want short hair or long hair. But it's my decision with my hair, like, what I want to do with my hair. And, yeah. I'm never growing my hair out again. I just say, never say never. <laughs> So who knows, but I highly doubt that I will ever grow my hair out again. Um, if I do, I might have one side of it shaved. So we only time will tell. Uh, I know this is kind of a rambling talk. I think it's mostly for the sake of keeping myself awake while I'm driving. <laughs> um, I got home. Ugh. Well, I did that one post already about getting home Friday, and then I've just been flat out basically since I got back, and there was kind of no end in sight. Uh, the only difference is, is I'm helping out with the school, um, uh, helping out with the school the next few days, so that'll be fun. And I hopefully maybe I'll be able to get on a bronc or two as well before I head out to Tippy Creek, and then. What else? Um, tattoos. Um, just part of who I am. I mean, not everybody wants tattoos or likes tattoos, but I like them. And uh, for me, everyone tells a story or it's uh, something that I can look back at and remember the time and the place where when I got it or maybe like the headspace I was in. So... It's weird when people say to me, I really want to get a tattoo, but I don't know what I want to get. And I'm like, is it really that difficult to figure out what you want to get? <laughs> There's always stuff you like. Um, and then they're like, well, what if I don't like it later? And like I said, for me, it's something that if I, uh, if I got it and it meant something to me at the time, then it still was going to be important to me in the future because it's part of who I am along the way and yeah so um, I'm definitely not your traditional looking cowgirl but I think a lot of you can appreciate that um, I remember when I first filled my pro card and I had some people interested in sponsoring me and they basically told me that they would sponsor me if I changed how I look. If I looked like a traditional cowgirl, right? Because we've got to promote the traditional look of a cowgirl in rodeo, right? Um, obviously, I didn't, didn't appease them and I didn't get sponsorship. <laughs> um, but I remember too also like somebody saying to me, I think is one of the cowboys. I don't know, but somebody I was competing against or somebody that was like in rodeo and that had used to rodeo. And they, uh, they said to me, you know, it's bad enough, Kayla, that you're a female in a male dominated sport, but like, why do you have to look different too? <laughs> you know, it just kind of shows you like how it's kind of, it has traditionally been in a, uh, an old school mentality with rodeo and in a lot of ways it still is unfortunately I mean I love rodeo but um, as a female getting into the sport it's it's not terribly easy you know so um, I will say like at, at a certain time I had tried to fit in and look more like your traditional cowgirl. That was before I was like sort of being more true to myself and then I realized that, you know what, this isn't me. This isn't um, 
this isn't right because this isn't who I am and I should be who I am so um, I stuck true to who I am and I believe I have more support because of it you know people appreciate that I've stu stood true to um, who well who I am as a person right and haven't tried to fit in and um, be like everyone else That's it, I guess, for now. <clears throat> I'm sorry that I have this shadow going on. It's sunny, and then, um, well, now it's clear, but I just came through. Um, I'm in a shadowed area. Um, but I think you all get the point, and I still have lots of driving to do, so I might knock off another video or two. Um, that's just a little bit more about me. So have a good weekend, everyone. I'll talk to you soon.